Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Boyer and today I will be talking to you about financial analysts and what they do. And here with me is my audience. For companies and individuals, it's important to know what's going on in the stock, in the stock market and what companies are on the rise and fall. And as a financial analyst, they have the skill set to get the job done and help them with that, those uh, big decisions. Um, for the past year, I've been researching and trying to find as much information as I can about how financial analysts do their job, what they do exactly, and how to become one. And at, since I enrolled at PNW, I've taken many biz, I've taken several business courses, a couple economics classes, and an accounting class to help me on my journey to achieve my goal of majoring in finance, so that I can become a financial analyst after I graduate from college. The stock market is constantly changing. As, as a financial analyst, it's crucial to understand new economic trends, how to help inform businesses with their new with new investment opportunities and help find the value of companies. So to start off, one of the jobs that an analyst do is to make predictions of the stock market and then report that new information to the companies. Um, for example, a company will have their, their financial analyst research let's say on the, in the clothing industry, they will, they will start to research new policies, new economic trends, and new regulations that could affect the price of the stocks of the companies that they're looking at. So they know what, what, to, what companies that are a good choice to invest in or to sell their bonds to. Also as, as well, according to datausa.org, there are approximately 212,000 people who are uh, employed as financial analysts by uh, banks, firms, or individuals. And I find it very important to have analysts so that you know everything that's going on with your stocks and your investments to make even more profit. Moving on to the next point, company want, will want to know what their net value is and that and financial analysts do a good job of helping them with that. Um, financial analysts will look at new economic trends related to the company, uh, they'll be able to they predict the future profitability for their company and decide the fair market value for the sale of their company. And for, for most businesses, for all businesses actually, on the stock market, there are four quarters and for each quarter, they must know the revenues and expenses so they can find their income and they must, and for financial analysts, they, the, they report every, every quarter on what the profit is on their um, in new investments or their old investments and whether for the upcoming quarters it's a good idea to start investing in different companies or to sell their bonds that they have had for a while. And usually at the end of the month, uh, the fin a financial analyst will have their meeting with the sales manager to report any new information that they have for their investments. Now let's turn to the most one of the most important things that a financial analyst does, which is um, informing companies on new investment opportunities. A financial analyst, analyst will look at the stock market and things that could affect the stock price, such anything and everything that could stock, affect the stock price. And according to students' scholarships, there is a quote and it says, analysts also use the data they find to measure the financial risks associated with making a particular investment. Meaning, it's important, it's very crucial for financial analysts to know any risk that's going to happen that could affect the price or their investment that their company has put uh, shares into any other company, which could uh, lead to loss of profit or having to sell their bonds and not make any uh, profit on those. And I had a conversation with a family friend who is a sales manager that works for a firm in Chicago. And he told me that every week he and his financial analysts have meetings and they discuss any risks or anything that's that could affect negatively um, their their stock price, the stock prices of the companies that they're invested in, and whether they should show, whether they should uh, sell those stocks and invest in new different companies. In closing, in closing, the economy is constantly changing, and as a financialist, it's crucial to understand new economic trends about the stock market, how to help businesses with their, in, with their uh, new investment opportunities and to find the net value of a business. 
And whenever you see on TV or hear on the news or on, on the internet about a famous person or a big company making a huge investment into other companies, and you're wondering, how did they come to that decision? Well, now you know that most of that is, uh, most of that is due to the uh, financial analysts making, helping them with the right information and helping them come to that decision. And as a financial analyst, it's very important to do your research, constantly doing your research and knowing what's going on with companies that are being invested in by your companies to help them make a profit. And I would like to thank my audience once again for taking the time out of their day to watch my, hear what I have to say about financial analysts. Thank you.